Normally, payroll fields for tracking employee meals and tips will be created the first time you run the Payroll Setup Wizard. However, if you have already run the Payroll Setup Wizard and need to add employee meals or cash tips later, you can do so through this process. First, select the Maintain menu, then Payroll, then Employee Defaults. Select the Employee Fields tab. Scroll down on the table and in the first blank space, enter either My Meals or Cash Tips. Note that you cannot use the names Meals or Tips by themselves when setting up employee meals or tips this way, as those names are reserved by the program for use in the Payroll Setup Wizard. Instead, we recommend using My Meals or Cash Tips as the field name, since Sage50 will recognize these as distinct fields. For this example, we will show the process for setting up tips using the cash tips field, but the process for setting up employee meals is exactly the same. Once you have entered the name of your field, move to the memo column of the table and check the memo box for the new line or lines you just created. Checking the memo box will cause Sage50 to track these payroll fields for reporting and tax calculations only rather than tracking them with a separate general ledger account. When this is done, you will need to adjust all applicable employee and employer taxes so that tips or meals are included in the total calculations. To do this, for each applicable tax, select the Adjust button. Then, on the Employee Field Names table, scroll down till you find the name of your new field, which is Cash Tips in this case. Check the Use column next to Cash Tips, then click OK. Do this for each employee or employer tax that needs to include cash tips or employee meals. At a minimum, you should do this for the Fed Income, Social Secure, Medicare, and State Taxes on the Employee Fields tab. Then in the Company Fields tab, you should do the same for SOSEC ER, Medicare ER, FUTA ER, and SUI ER. If you have any other local taxes that apply to employees or employers, which would need to include cash tips or employee meals, you will need to do the same to adjust them as well. After all adjustments have been made, click OK to save these changes and to close the employee defaults window. Next, you will need to make sure that the new field is reported correctly on W-2s. Go to Maintain, Payroll, then Payroll Settings. Select Taxes, then Assign Tax Fields, and then click W-2 Fields. Select the drop-down menu next to Social Security Tips, and select the new field that you added, either Cash Tips or My Meals. Note that if you added both fields, you can only select one field for this dropdown. You may need to consult with a certified accountant to determine which field should be reported as Social Security tips and where the remaining field should be displayed on W-2s. When you are finished, click OK, then click Finish. This completes the setup for cash tip or employee meals. Thank you for watching this Sage tutorial.